Hello. Hi, my name is Adam. I'm going to be your nurse today. Um, so I hear that you've been retaining some urine. Um, the doctor ordered a Foley catheter for you. Um, can I get your uh, first and last name, please? Okay, I'm just going to check that with your name band. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Smith. Okay, so I'm going to start off first by performing a hand hygiene. I'm going to wash my hands, uh, make sure the bed is in highest position. Um, so, Ms. Smith, today we're going to be inserting a Foley catheter today. Um, we heard that you've been having some urinary retention. Um, so just to kind of relieve some of that um, discomfort in your bladder, we're going to go ahead and insert the Foley catheter and just to relieve some of that pressure. So first we're going to give patient privacy. We're going to close the curtains um, and then we're going to let the patient know that we're going to be exposing their perineal area. So we're going to expose them. We're going to check the perineal area, make sure that it's clean. Um, no signs of redness, any signs of infection. Okay, so we're going to let the patient know that we're going to set up for a sterile procedure so that they can stay still, make sure that they're not kicking around too much. Um, we're going to start off with our sterile Foley kit here. So for this one, we place it right here. Uh, we want to make sure that the um, patient's legs are up and out of the way. We're going to have a trash bag here. So we're going to start off by opening our sterile kit, making sure to open it away from us. From the one inch margin okay and then once we have our sterile area we're going to go ahead and grab the corners of this just make sure we don't break sterile field we're going to place this right underneath patient just to make sure that nothing drips over them perfect and then we're going to go ahead and grab our sterile gloves by the corners we're going to set up our sterile gloves here we're gonna start by opening our sterile gloves. There's left and right. So we wanna make sure to just open it away from us from the, the one to two inch margins provided. Keeping sterile technique. We're gonna start with our dominant hand first. We're gonna pinch the cuff of the glove. and start with our right hand. Once we have our right sterile glove on, we can go ahead and move to our left. We're gonna grab the inside of the left sterile glove. Putting our hand through. And then once we have our second sterile glove, we can adjust. And then we're just gonna pinch this, dispose of that. And then once we have our both of our sterile gloves, we can go ahead and work with what we have in here. We're gonna start um, with our tray here. We're gonna go ahead and move this out. This is gonna be um, our iodine, so that's why we want to assess the patient, make sure before we use the iodine that they don't have an allergy to iodine as well as latex with what we're working with. Um, so you're going to open the iodine, you're going to pour the iodine over the cotton balls here. You're going to pour that over the cotton pads, then once we use that, we're going to dispose of that. We're going to grab our lubricant here, our lubricant we're just going to place in here as well and dispose of that. And then once we have that, um, we're going to grab our 10 ml syringe. We're gonna uncap this, we're gonna dispose of that one. Once we have our 10 ml syringe, we're gonna plug that in right here. So that's nice and secure. We're gonna put that aside working in our sterile environment. Um, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna um, examine the perineal area. We're gonna be um, making sure that before we touch the perineal area, we're gonna make sure that the, the tip of our catheter is resting in the lubricant, lubricated the first four inches. So once that is lubricated, we can leave that in there. And then, so what we're gonna do first is with our non-dominant hand, we're gonna expose the urinary meatus. And then with one of our soaked cotton pads, we're gonna grab one at a time. We're gonna start um, left side first, we're gonna go down one and then we're going to dispose of it grab our next one and then right we're going to go down and then away from our sterile field into the trash and then our last one here we're going to go straight down the middle away from our sterile field and then uh, we no longer need these tongs we can toss those as well so then with the tip of our catheter that's lubricated we're going to go ahead and maintaining our sterile field here we're going to let the patient know. So Mrs. Smith, we're going to be inserting the catheter now. 
Let's take a couple of deep breaths. So lubricated the tip. We're gonna insert it until we see urine flow. Once we see urine flow, we're going to grab the catheter with our non-dominant hand. And with our right hand, we're going to insert the 10 mLs of the fluid until the balloon is inflated. And then once that's fully inflated, we're just gonna pull back to make sure that that is secure. Okay, once that is secure, we're going to go ahead and remove the syringe. We can toss that as well. Okay, once that is secure, we're gonna go ahead and tape this to the patient's leg to make sure it's nice and secure, that there's no yanking on that. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our Foley bag here. So once that's secured to the patient's leg, we're just going to make sure that the Foley bag is below the patient's bladder so there's adequate flow. Once that's nice and secure, we're gonna go ahead and clean up our mess here. Putting this off to the side. And then we're going to cover our patient Explain to them that now when they urinate, it's going to be going through the catheter um, to let us know if they have any concerns. And then Mrs. Smith, um, before I leave, I'm going to go ahead and put your bed in the lowest position, make sh making sure that there's no kinking. Um, Mrs. Smith, before I go, do you need to be repositioned at all? No? Okay. And then you also want to make sure patient's call light's within reach. Um, just let them know that if there's any abnormalities with the catheter, just to call you back. Um, other than that, Mrs. Smith, we're all done today. Thank you.